education that you've gained here is a gift. Like most people you, your age, for, for a few years, you've, been, you've had at your fingertips devices that can deliver to you in seconds virtually any piece of human knowledge ever created. But your education has given you the tools you need to be able to shape that knowledge into meaning, to process the impossibly large amounts of data you encounter in your everyday lives and make it something tangible. And with that gift comes responsibility. As educated women and men living in an age where our collective intelligence will be the force that shapes society, you will be the ones making the world's most important decisions. Regardless of the careers you choose, you will be tomorrow's leaders. Like never before in human history, all of you will have a real and measurable impact, not only on the lives of people with whom you share a community, but on the lives of the people on the other side of the planet, the globe, people you've never even met before. Your actions, your decisions, the insights and knowledge that you have gained here and will continue to gain. Your story, your story, these things will matter. You're about to leave Miami in the next day or two. You're going to pack your stuff into a car, get on a plane, go back to your next home. You'll turn the page and start a new chapter. And always remember, through all your successes and failures, through all the noise and chaos of the world around you, that it's your responsibility and yours alone to make sure that your story, as you experience it, day in and day out, is the one that you want to be writing. Yes, your time in college has ended, but your education is a lifelong process. So stay curious, keep your eyes and your ears open. You never know when you'll hear something, something that really might change you. It happened to me just a few years ago. I, I, I was at a talk about a single cell organism called Vibrio Hashira. It lives in the ocean. It's bioluminescent. It lights up like a firefly, but not when it's alone. It only lights up when it connects with others, and it reaches a tipping point. And when enough of that organism, enough of these organisms come together, they, they find a singularity of purpose, which is to create light. How amazing would it be if we as humans came together to create light, to amass our collective knowledge and swarm together to change the world for the better. You are so young, you have so much potential. You will be the leaders and the innovators of tomorrow. Your generation will cure diseases, unite people, and move seas and oceans. You will bring justice to forgotten corners of the earth and create technologies that will change the course of human evolution. You will scale to heights that people of my generation cannot even fathom. You will be able to do anything that you choose to do and that you dream of. What a time to be starting out. What a time to be alive. Always keep in mind, no matter where you are, the stories you take, no matter what profession you choose or who you marry or where you live, no matter what dreams you chase, that no one will be forcing you to be caring or empathetic or kind or even to lend a hand. Always remember that an inconspicuous act of kindness can change the world. And at each side, inside of each of you is a divine spark. It holds the love, your beauty, and your purpose. And together, all these sparks create a flame, a bioluminescence that can light up the world as you and your classmates and your peers around the globe write the chapter in humanity's ever-evolving story. May your stories be long and happy. May they be filled with humility when you succeed and moral courage when you fail. May your pages brim with love and laughter. May they be bound in the volumes and the stories for those that you share this journey with. Stories that come together to create light. Stories that are truer than truth itself. Congratulations again, class of 2014. I wish you all the best on your journey. Congratulations to you, for all you are.